guys, Joe Snowmobiles here. Today I'm selling this beautiful Hurricane Fun Deck, 19 and a half foot boat. Um, it is a 1995. It's a little rough, needs a few things. Um, as you can see, we'll start right here. It needs some new plywood there and, and some uh, carpeting. I'd replace the carpeting and lumber behind the fender. A little dent in the fender here. Tires are really good. I've towed this personally over 60 miles. It's got fresh grease in the bearings. Uh, needs a piece of wood here as well with the carpet. You know, over time those rot out. And it needs another piece of wood here with some carpet. So you're probably talking 20, 30 bucks worth of wood there. Um, graphics on the side of the boat are, oh, they're so-so. It's got some dents in some of the aluminum, but it's all intact. Uh, I've got a ladder on the back here. It's got a couple little dents right there, but it looks like it still works properly. Folds down nice and deep. And then you've got your uh, your battery storage compartment here. This is an old plastic piece, so some of the plastic is kind of brittle. But your battery is in here. The battery is good. Um, oil injection is also down in here for the for the motor. Uh, you could probably store some other goodies in there if you wanted to. We've also got a door back here. So you can, once you enter from the swim ladder, you can go right in. And that bit folds, just kind of slides up and down and stays in place. Uh, we've got a mo uh, 130 horsepower Evinrude. Uh, runs really good. Um, I cleaned the carbs on it. Um, the impeller does work. It does uh, it does shoot water, which I'll show you in the video shortly. Uh, propeller's a little beat up. I think you could probably have this one uh, redone, um, but it would still work. Uh, maybe use it, keep it for a spare. Um, I checked the oil in the lower unit. No water at all. Totally solid. Uh, now, the fuel for this boat is bad. So what you would need to do is you need to, to siphon out what's left in there. Currently I'm just running the motor off of a spare tank I have. So just remember you're going to have to flush that fuel tank out and get some rid of some of that old fuel. Alright, let's move over here. On this side of the boat, kind of the same issue with the wood. You can see it has a kind of a, a piece here with some carpet. You'll have to you know replace that. The step here is also rotted on this one. So basically new wood across uh, both sides. My recommendation is probably change the bunks underneath as well when you have the boat off the trailer. Uh, again, tires are good and the bearings are good in the back. And we'll get up in the boat in a second, but I'll just show you how this lifts up. Mm -hmm. Got some more storage back here. Also, if you want to put a porta potty or maybe a shower or something like that. Uh, if you look up at the, uh, the top, uh, it's not terrible, but it does have a hole in the center. Probably could be patched. Uh, the top of it's kind of dirty, but I don't think anyone's looking at the top. Uh, this side of the boat's in pretty good shape. You have a few dents over here, probably from docking. Um, I guess it's the same here. Let me jump up in the boat. I'll show you that the lights work. So you've got uh, your running lights. And, um, well, I guess those are your run random running lights and maybe some spotlights up front. Uh, come on up here. We'll take a look inside the boat. Of course, you have another door here. So in the, in the boat, um, the carpet is, it's okay. Floor is fairly solid. Um, I don't see any soft spots. Very, very good. It has some storage underneath. Um, there's a... It looks like an ore or something in there and some, and some probably some junk that needs to be cleaned out it's sitting outside here so we have some leaves and stuff collecting but that can be easily vacuumed out now the seats in the front the front door is a little stiff needs a little grease there but some of these cup holders they have installed are kind of cheesy and broken so just want to make you aware of that there, there was some animals in the boat at one time there's some holes from the animals um, under the under the back of this seat. They did a little damage. There's a one piece of a uh, uh, two by four needs to be replaced here. On the side of this seat, you'll come back here. You'll see that there's uh, it's a little damage here. You probably could rewrap this in some white material. Same thing on this side. Looks like the cats were just clawing at it or something. And we have a little nibbling over here on this side of the seat. And also there's a hole 
up in the front here and also a little bit of damage here as well and one little niche there and there. Uh, this seat has a split in the seam right there. Uh, muffling under this seat, pretty, pretty good shape. Uh, as you move to the back, we have the captain's console. There looked like there was a depth finder mounted here or possibly up here at one time, so there are some mounting holes. In the back of this seat, uh, there is a rust mark here. I think it may come out with some um, magic eraser. I just haven't tried that. Under the back of this seat, it's pretty good shape. Just some leaves and things to clean out. Um, this seat lifts up as well. Can't really see underneath it, but there is a little storage underneath there. This seat is the worst of all of them here. Uh, this seat was obviously destroyed by an animal chewed on, so that will need to be replaced. There are cup holders throughout the boat that uh, basically have that issue. They just uh, br are brittle. So we need some cup holders. One, two, three. Looks like three of them that would need to be replaced. There also is holes in the floor for a table. As you can see, the plastic is broken for that table there. This one is in good shape. If we had a table, we don't have a table for the boat, but you could install a table here. We also have some storage underneath for some more gear. And of course, all your uh, switches and things here. Horn does not work. There is a bilge pump, it does not currently work. Uh, I have an accessory light, dock lights, live well, anchor lights, nav, nav lights. I haven't t tested the 12 volt light, uh, 12 volt outlet. Uh, speedometer, RPM, fuel, and uh, trim. Cannot confirm that these work. I've not put the boat in the water. Uh, radio kind of flashes on when you hit power, but it doesn't seem to turn on, so we don't know for sure if the radio is actually working. There are speakers in the boat. Uh, trim and tilt works. We'll go back to the back of the boat and show that, and we'll show it running here in just a minute. Uh, past that, I think we've covered everything in the boat itself. Uh, there is a little more uh, storage space, or if you will, a pathway to the back here. Uh, there's some interior lights uh, that are down here, some interior lights. Uh, I don't know if these work or not. There's another one over here, uh, over here in this spot. Down here, we have an interior light, as well as an interior light over here. Uh, but I cannot confirm that those work, and then there's one more on the opposite side. Uh, both, both sides of the boat have doors. So you can go in there. You can also go out there. So those both work. We'll start up the engine now so you can see that run. Okay, so I wanted to also uh, go over the front half of the, uh, the trailer here. Uh, it's a two inch ball. Uh, we have a um, crank up um, wheel here that you can remove uh, with this bolt. We also have a uh, removable uh, wheel that goes here as well. Uh, the lights do work in the back for the brake lights. However, the running lights, the orange lights on the side currently don't work. Uh, the winch, I uh, have not been able to test the winch, but I would assume that the winch works. Um, past that, it's a four flat as well, so you'll need one of those to tow it. Let's go around the side. We'll start up the boat. Uh, get that running. Before we do that though, let me just point out, I do have these metal bars. They go inside the boat. Kind of like this. And they mount into the table holes so that when you do have a cover for the boat, it will keep it um, keep it elevated and keep the water running off. I don't really know what this one is for. I think it also goes with the cover part. We don't have a cover for the boat, but You'll get those with the boat. Oh, one other thing I forgot to point out. We do have a spare tire, and there is a spare tire mount right here on the front of the trailer. So let's start up the motor. So I've got the earmuffs on here. We'll, we'll get the uh, water flowing through it. Give it a little gas. I'm going to open the vent on the fuel tank and we'll start it up.
works really good and yeah I kind of figured that might kill the boat the, 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 the engine but uh, that does trim it up and trim it down we also have a handle over here which trims it up and down as well you just hit that handle and you can see that the motor the motor is going up in the back there and then of course going back down now the gas that we're running in this boat is probably a year old from our tank that we're using so it's, it doesn't idle as well as it probably should with the with good fuel um, so just be aware of that as well and um, let's shut the water up here so this one this this lever here it has a pull out feature where if you pull it out you can you'll be in neutral and you'll be able to rev it up back and forth depending on which way you want to go of course when you put it into here you push it push it back in this has the push to choke version and it also has a uh, kill switch uh, lanyard here so if you're interested in this boat check out the phone number that I posted below or you can send me an email and I'd be really happy to sell you this boat so uh, we're asking 3500 uh, obviously it needs some work so we're open to offers as well so check it out on uh, Craigslist I've also got it posted on eBay and uh, if it's something you're interested in I'll be glad to tell you a little bit more about it but uh, I do know that it has 120 pounds of compression on the uh, all the cylinders um, there's a few little minor things with the motor one or two bolts that need to be replaced uh, which I'll probably do before we even sell it but you're talking less than a dollar in hardware uh, but just things that I, I noticed and I wanted to fix clear title for the boat also for the title for the trailer as well as our current sticker for Illinois. So if it's something you're interested in